I came to do the functionality and to carry out the model of the Issachars. Uh, I want you to get ready with your Bible. As you're joining in, I want you to share the broadcast to your friends on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on Telegram. Do well to share the broadcast. Um, you see, it has been proven that life transcends the physical. It has been proven that a man's existence is backdated to eternity and not time. Your life did not begin when you were conceived. Your life began in eternity with God. I know in biology, in biology science we've been taught that life begins from conception. But you must understand that every human being that is conceived by a woman and that is bettered by a woman existed from a place that transcends the meeting of the spermatozoa of a man and the zygote of a woman. Man is a derivative. Man is an offspring from God. That was why the psalmist said prophetically, children are gift from God. So every human being you see on earth is actually a seed, a fragment, a seed from eternity brought into time to fulfill the agenda, the purposes of the ruler of the universe, the ruler of both eternity and time. Man is as old as eternity in God. So when you were being brought into that family that you bear membership with, before you were brought into that family, your life began in God. So what God did was that God gave you as a gift to your family, to your parents. So when your mom and your dad met together to create the component that makes up your genes, what happened was that God sat down in details. God sat down in all craftsmanship to see the genotype, the genes that we meet in producing your kind. So God saw that Mrs. Mercy and Mr. Matthew were going to produce Austin. God knew that Mr. Mrs. Josephine and Mr. Edwin coming together will produce miracle. So what God did was that he, saw, he sat in the circles in the eternity, in eternity divide and he began to look out for the beings that could come into partnership in bringing his seed into time. I said man is a seed from eternity brought into time. So what God did was that he needed a man to come into partnership with him in order for his seed to be brought into time. And it so happened to be that the bringing of a seed from eternity to time has to do with a partnership between a man and a woman with God. So when a man and a woman meet together in intercourse, what happened is that a gift from eternity is given to such couples. This is to show you how spiritual life is. This is why when you were conceived, no one could see you, but you were in your mother's womb. You were in the womb of your mother for nine months, which has to do with the nine, the period of gestation. So before man became seen, man was unseen. Just the way when you were conceived by your mother in the womb, you were unseen, you were not seen. The Bible said it is by faith that we understand that everything that can be seen were brought into being from the unseen it is by faith that we understand that the words were framed by the word of god so that things that be were made out of things that be not the unseen is what gives birth to the seen the seen is not what gives birth to the unseen no the unseen gives birth to the seen so man is a seed from god life begins from the spirit realm and everything you see in the physical happens to be a theater of what is streaming from the spirit realm. Uh, to this end, we need to understand a very important topic that I want us to look into shortly, briefly, that will bring insight and illumination into our spirit. You see, when you begin to desire to work with God, um, there are certain things God will begin to employ in order for him to bring that desire of yours that is actually kick-started and stirred up by him because the Bible said nobody can 
have access to God except that man is drawn by the Father. Nobody can approach God except that um, that man is drawn by the Father. So that innate desire, that inner drive, that inner zeal to search out for God is actually started and originated by God Himself. No man can have a, no man can have a 